हेलो एवरीवन सो आई वेलकम यू इन टूडेज वीडियो वेयर वी विल टॉक अबाउट टेस्ट ओके गाइज सो टेस्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू मी इज इट सेल्फ अ वेरी टेस्टलेस टॉपिक बिकॉज वंस यू स्टार्ट स्टडीइंग टेस्ट यू फील दैट देर इज नॉट मच टू बी नोन इट्स सच अ बेसिक टॉपिक बट फॉर द सिलेबस कंप्लीशन वी विल हैव टू डू इट सो वी विल कम टू टेस्ट एंड नाउ वी विल सी एट एवरी डिटेल वॉट एवर रिक्वायर्ड सो आफ्टर दिस यू डी नॉट टू मग अप दोज बुक्स जस्ट सी वंस एंड यू विल बी डन okay so watch watch this video question at the end answer below and you can visit for notes so now let's talk about taste so suppose if i give you a sweet and i say you that eat it so will you say that oh wow potassium receptor you know worked very well there was a great depolarization and it come out very well no you will say that yes it is very sweet or whatsoever okay so basically in our tongue we have taste cells and their taste cells have chemical receptors okay now there are many chemical receptors which work according to a particular taste so we can't say like that now so we have classified all of them combinedly into five primary sensations of taste okay so if i say that potassium receptor is responsible for a particular taste so i will just say the taste i won't say potassium receptor okay so this is the basic knowledge which you should have okay and that primary sensations are just like your primary colors sour salty sweet bitter and umami okay so this umami is a new word it is basically a japanese word so what it is it is basically found in those foods which have high concentration of l glutamate okay such as meat extracts and aging cheese that's all now a person will perceive different taste as i have already told you because all these ion receptors works at an integrated manner and this will lead to a particular taste sensation so nothing much in this now let's proceed to the core you know taste pathway so in order to know entire taste pathway you have to start with very basic so the first basic thing which you need to know is taste bud okay guys so now what is this taste bud let's dissect this so basically this is your epithelium stratified squamous epithelium okay so now taste bud consists of stratified squamous epithelium and now here are some cells what are those cells first category is sustentacular cell which are basically supporting and the other category are taste cells which are of matter to us okay so we will see about taste cells okay so now the outer tips of the taste cells you can see these are your taste cells okay these are your taste cells and now the book is saying that the outer tip outer tip of these taste cells will revolve around or arrange around taste pore okay so these are the terms which you should know taste cells and then your taste pore now then the from the tip of each taste cell there will be microvilli is that okay so this is all you need to know now this microvilli is protruding towards the mouth of towards the cavity of mouth so whenever you will eat food this will basically serve as a receptor surface for that particular taste so now here you have eaten this food and it will basically provide a sensation to microvilli these are arranged around pore and these are taste cells from now the sensation will be carried by this nerve fibers okay so now what is the next statement guys that basically around the taste cells are interwoven terminal network of nerve fibers okay and then this will be stimulated by receptor cells as obvious so we have seen taste bud now this is the basic pathway now we will see how taste buds are stimulated so for that basic receptor potential as you do for every cell apply the same here that whenever any substance has been applied the taste hairs as, as we have already told that microvilli okay that microvilli are also called as taste hair so application of a taste substance when to the taste hair this will cause the depolarization so this is all you need to know depolarization okay now as i have already told you that whichever type of taste you want that type of receptor protein will work i have told you of potassium ion and that so now let's see that thing so if i am saying sodium ions and h plus ions these will elicit salty and sour taste sensation okay sodium will elicit salty and h plus will stimulate uh, sour taste okay so now the receptor protein will open specific ion channels in the apical membrane of taste cells so this is just some language points written what you should be knowing is that basically whatever taste you want you will open that particular channel for that particular taste okay and for the other taste basically your sweet and bitter taste these are operated by secondary messenger okay these are not some directly activated receptors 
कि बेसिकली द पोर्शन ऑफ दैट रिसेप्टर प्रोटीन विल एक्टिवेट सेकेंडरी मैसेजर एंड देन दे विल फर्दर कॉज सर्टेन केमिकल चेंजेस सो यू नीड नॉट टू यू नो वरी अबाउट सच अ यू नो बोरिंग टेक्स्ट आई शुड से बट यू शुड नो अर नॉलेज दैट ओके सोडियम आय एन एच प्लस आय एन सॉल्टी सोर स्वीट बिटर आर बाय वी कैन सी स्वीट बिटर आर बाय सेकेंडरी मैसेजर सो दिस इज रिसेप्टर पोटेंशियल नाउ यू हैव जनरेटेड रिसेप्टर पोटेंशियल ओके सो नाउ वेन एवर यू ईट फूड द फर्स्ट यू नो बाइट गिवस अ ग्रेट टेस्ट ओके इधर इट कैन बी अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग गुड टेस्ट और वेरी बैड टेस्ट ओके आफ्टर दैट दैट टेस्ट विल रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट सो दिस इज द थिंग दैट ऑन द फर्स्ट एप्लीकेशन टेस्ट इज स्ट्रॉन्ग इमीजिएट सिग्नल एंड देन वीकर कंटिन्यूस सिग्नल विल बी ट्रांसमिटेड सो नाउ ऑल एंड ऑल यू हैव सीन दैट हाउ द टेस्ट बर्ड्स आर फॉर्मिंग दैन हाउ द रिसेप्टर पोटेंशियल वर्क एंड नाउ यू हैव सीन हाउ द इनिशियल स्टिमुलस इज वेरी हाई now let's focus on transmission of these signals to the cns and this is what we need to know in the pathway okay so there's nothing much to be known this is your tongue supply okay so i have already told you in development of tongue the supply of the tongue okay so kindly watch that too so now they are saying simply what you need to know if you are talking from the anterior two thirds of the tongue okay so first it will go to the lingual nerve then via the cordae tympani it will go into the facial now this is everything you know anterior two third facial now okay and in the finally in the nucleus tractus solitarius so always remember this whole pathway revolves around this particular tract so i have told you regarding anterior of the tongue corda tympani okay and this will lead to nts is that clear now circumvallate papilla on the back of the tongue basically back of the tongue lodges circumvallate papilla and you know that from back of the tongue there will be glossopharyngeal now will be take the sensation and it will again go to nts okay all nerves will and ultimately go to nts only don't worry okay then also there are taste signals from the base of the tongue and that will be carried by vagus nerve as you can see here vagus nerve it will also carry from the you know back portion of mouth and pharynx ultimately it will go to nucleus tractus solitarius so the first order neurons are very clear to you nucleus tractus solitarius no mistake in that now this is what i have told you okay that basically these are your taste buds and you can see the location circumvallate is on back side and that all basic things okay and this we have seen as taste bud so now what will happen is then we will talk about further story so what is the further story now this nts will send secondary order neuron to ventral posterior medial nucleus of thalamus okay so now the thalami nuclei which is responsible in taste pathway is vp mn okay ventral posterior medial nucleus of thalamus now this you can see in the diagram here itself this is how you will learn the things and now from thalamus will give third order neuron and this will go to your gustatory cortex so what is gustatory cortex i have already told you in cerebral cortex video please see that also so it will basically transmit to the post central gyrus in the parietal cortex okay and then it will lodge into the sylvian fissure into this particular structure which is called as insular insular frontal operculum okay and this is what is called as your gustatory cortex so don't worry you might think that these are very heavy words or just rectification there is nothing rectification just focus on tongue you have supplied tongue ultimately reached nts by any pathway then just this thalamus and then just this gustatory cortex which is also given a second name even if you don't remember it is fine if you want to remember you can remember that basically opercular insular area okay now what are these operculum insulum and all these things these are anatomical terms right now they are not so this is all in all you need to know regarding the taste sensations a very easy question for all of you kindly comment below and keep watching other videos also guys it's very important to revise the things otherwise you won't retain things longer and you can connect with me on all of these platforms thank you stay safe stay healthy